Deep in the jungle, a group of scientists are hunting a mother raptor and her babies in order to do research. But this mother is a clever girl and doesn't take kindly to outsiders who threaten her family, and she's willing to dispatch any would-be kidnappers in this ultimate tale of a man's greed versus a mother's love. This is Raptor. Hey there, my name is Mike Murphy, I'm one half of the Brothers Murph, and today's episode of In Focus is sponsored by the board game Geek Store. And today we're going In Focus on Raptor, which was designed by Bruno Catala, Bruno Fiduti, and produced by Matigo. Now, I hear a rumbling in the jungle, so I think it's time to go down to the table to go a little more In Focus on Raptor. Raptor is a two-player asymmetric game with one player representing the scientists who are attempting to capture baby raptors or put the mother raptor to sleep, while the other player controls the mother raptor and her babies. Her mission is to get her babies to safety or kill everyone she sees, whichever is easiest. Raptor plays out a little like the classic card game War. Each round, both players will secretly select one of their cards from their hand and play it face down. Simultaneously, both players reveal their cards. Whoever played the lower card will activate the power on the card, while the player with the higher card will receive action points equal to the difference of the two cards played. The powers written on cards for scientists include setting fires to trap the raptors, putting baby raptors to sleep, and driving around in a jeep to make quick work of the jungle. While the mother raptor will be able to call her babies to her, strike fear into the heart of the scientists, and disappear deep into the foliage, ready to spring out at an unexpected location. Playing the high card can be useful as well, especially if your opponent played a really low card. For scientists, you can use action points to move from one space to the next, fire a tranquilizer into the mother raptor to slow her down, put a baby raptor to sleep, or if the baby is asleep already, you can capture the baby, bringing you one step closer to victory. But this mother raptor isn't planning on sitting back and letting the scientists run things in her jungle. The mother raptor has a decided home field advantage, so for just one action point, she can move as far in one direction as she likes. If she lands next to a scientist for an action point, she can kill that scientist, which goes out of the game for good. She can also wake up her babies and put out those pesky fires in order to move more freely during her rampage. If players play the same level card, the round is immediately over and they draw a new card and go again. And if players play their weakest card, it allows them to regain all of their previously played cards, giving them more options to play in future rounds. The Battle of of man versus beast continues until one player achieves their win condition, finally bringing peace to the jungle once more. Raptor is a tight, tense game in which you're trying to get into your opponent's head and figure out what they're thinking and where they're going. Are they going to play a high card, hoping that you play low so they can get a bunch of action points? Or are they going to play a card that's really high and you can play one just underneath it to undermine their entire turn? That's the stuff you have to answer if you try out Raptor. And if Raptor seems like a game you'd enjoy, consider checking out his page at BoardGameGeek.com. There you can find reviews, videos, forums, and more. And until next time, I'm Mike Murphy. I've been here at BoardGameGeek, and we've been going in focus on Raptor. Have a great day.